running past to Steve here. Hebrews 11:23. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's command. It took a lot of courage for Moses' parents to uh, defy the edict of the Pharaoh. And as we see here, it was a decision based on their faith in God. Talk about trusting. After the child was three months old, they put him in a position to be eaten by a crocodile or adopted by a princess. It could have been one and the same. They had to trust that God would protect and provide. We're probably headed into a time in our world where we might find ourselves at odds with the Edict of Kings. 1 Peter 2, 13 through 15 says to submit ourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake, whether it be to kings as supreme or to governors or unto them that are sent by him for the punishment of evildoers and for the praise of them that do well. For so is the will of God that with well-doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. So that's our general orders, our general orders. In the military, we had general orders that covered all the situations of life, basically. Then we have specific orders. As a believer, we are generally to obey the laws of the land. But there is an occasion when our special orders make us step outside that. In Acts chapter 5, the disciples were uh, called in to, to answer to the leaders for preaching about Jesus. Listen to Acts uh, 5, 28 and 29. said, Didn't we straightly command you, you should not teach in his name? And behold, you have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine, and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. And Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. When you do that, you also have to read verse 40. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them, they commanded that they should not speak in the name of Jesus and let him go. Listen. When you follow the voice of God and run contrary to the law of man, then you have to go face your punishment, not kicking and screaming. When all is said and done, verses 41 42 sum it up, they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. And daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and to preach Jesus Christ. Be prepared to face hard choices. The best way to do that is to live for Christ now and just keep on. If you're called into question for that, you'll probably face the consequences. Face them without rancor. Trust God to get glory. In our world, we see Christians in other lands being tortured and put to death because they choose to obey God and not men. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.